Good afternoon. My name is Chris Baum and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Little Guy Worldwide. Today we're going to be talking to you about a 2015 6x10 Silver Shadow Teardrop Camping Trailer. The 6x10 is going to be approximately 13 foot from the front of the tongue to the back hatch. And then from side to side, fender to fender, you're going to be roughly around 80 to 82 inches. So when you're looking to put this thing in your garage or store it somewhere, those are going to be the dimensions you're going to be looking at. Weight-wise, this is going to be right around 1,200 pounds or so. Uh, tongue weight is going to be approximately, what Dylan, about 110, 120 pounds once you've got the battery on the front of it. So from a tongue weight standpoint, that's what you're going to be looking at. As we go around the exterior of the trailer, you're going to see uh, the fiberglass fenders. These are going to be standard with this 6x10 Silver Shadow. As we go through the description of this trailer, keep in mind that this is going to have the max package. So the features that you're going to see this are going to be the max package for the little guy uh, uh, Silver Shadow 6x10. You're going to have 14 inch black, uh, black wheels with the baby moon hubcaps. As I said, the fiberglass fenders, these are going to be standard features on this model. As we come around to the front, you'll have your A-frame platform, which is going to be standard. On the front of this, this is going to have a battery box and this is where your battery will sit. Uh, this unit's getting ready to ship, so we haven't fully torn it apart, uh, but your battery will sit right here. Up front, you're going to need a 2-inch ball and a 7-way round flat pin connection for the back of your vehicle. Lately, we've gotten a lot of calls as far as what the ideal height is from, for this uh, uh, to be snapped onto the back of your vehicle. Uh, a couple people have bottomed out recently. Make sure that you're sitting 16 to 18 inches up above the ground. It's not sitting too low so that you're not going to bottom out anywhere. 16 to 18 inches up off the ground for your ball to be sitting is really the ideal height uh, as far as where you should be on this. You've got your diamond plate that's going to come across the front of this. As I said, this max package will have a stargazer window as standard. This stargazer is going in probably about 95% of the trailers that we're building right now uh, within the Little Guy and Silver Shadow product lines. Dylan, as we come around uh, the side of the trailer, you're going to see a lot of different lights on this unit. Because it is a six wide, the Department of Transportation requires us to have more lights side to side than any of our other uh, Silver Shadow or Little Guy models. So it's going to be really well lit as you're traveling down the road. As we get to the inside of the trailer, <laughs> as we get to the inside of the trailer, this, your mattress is going to lay flat, but when it's not laying flat, you're going to be able to stack these mattresses on top of each other. And you're going to have a hinged storage area underneath this trailer or underneath the bed of this trailer. It's going to be great to store uh, towels, clothes, socks, shoes, anything else that you would have that would need to be stored. It's going to be a hinged opening on both sides. So if you need to store things, pull the mattress up, stack them on top of each other, set everything in for storage, and then you're good to go. As we roll into the inside of the trailer, this trailer is going to be one of the largest models. Uh, that we have from a bed standpoint. The bed in this trailer is going to be 70 by 80. So side to side you've got 78, uh, 70 inches, 80 inches front to back in this trailer. And as we go through some of the features of the Max package, you're going to see a window shade for the Stargazer window. You're going to see window shades for the doors on both sides. These shades are available in black, gray, and tan. Uh, per your choice as far as how you would like it to be. Other features that are going to come part of this max package, three-speed electric fan and vent. Um, you can set it to send the air in or act as an exhaust and send the air out. That will run off either 12 volt or 110 power. That's going to be standard with anything that has power with our camping trailers. As part of our 19-inch entertainment package, we have a 19-inch entertainment uh, or, or TV monitor that's going to come standard with it along with a Jensen system. This Jensen system is going to be set up for a DVD, CD, AM, FM. You're going to see an antenna on the outside of the trailer. That will work for your radio. It will have a coax hookup on the outside of the trailer so if you are somewhere that has TV power you can uh, hook up a cable to it and watch regular TV. Otherwise you're going to have to run it off of um, uh, DVDs or, or any kind of uh, wireless system possibly to be able to uh, watch any kind of other types of TV. You have your installed air conditioning unit on this. 
this unit's a right around 5,000 BTU unit. It'll need to run off one power, so you are going to need to be hooked into shoreline to be able to run the power of that air conditioning unit. It really cools it off in here. It's got more power than what you need. Uh, you have sight and sound speakers spaced out throughout the inside of the trailer, so you're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of sound coming through a really uh, a smaller area. Drink holders are going to be on the walls. These are going to be on both sides. Behind your head, you're going to have storage area. This is going to come standard with the 5x10 and 6x10 Silver Shadow. You're going to have storage sliding doors and then also an area up above. Set your eyeglasses, your contacts, anything, uh, a bottle of water, anything like that, you'll be able to set up there. It's going to have a power converter on the inside. You have also have a charging center, so you can plug in your, uh, um, your laptops, your phones, anything like that that's going to need charge throughout the night. You'll be able to plug in there, and you'll be able to charge those items off of this. Right over by the doors on both sides, you're going to have a little switch here to turn off the lights and turn on the lights on the outside of your 6x10 Silver Shadow. On the outside of the trailer over here, you're going to see some extra ventilation for the air conditioning unit. A lot of times people will ask, how does it ventilate, how does it drain? We've gone through this now for about five, six, seven years regarding the air conditioning system. You've got quite a bit of ventilation now. You're not going to have to worry about it overheating or overpowering the unit. You've got more than enough ventilation. The 6x10 Silver Shadow is going to be uh, equipped in the Max package with a sink, stove, and refrigerator. The, uh, as far as for the water, you're going to be able to fit 10 gallons of water in the 2015 6x10 Silver Shadow. So you've got a couple different places to be able to put water in. You can pour water in here or you can hook a hose up to the side of it. Uh, as we talked about, a 110 30 amp outlet on the outside of the trailer with a 25 foot all weather power cord. This is going to come standard with the unit. <laughs> um, when I was laying on the inside of the trailer, we talked about a coax. Here's your coax hookup. So if you are somewhere that has regular cable, you can plug in and watch that within the interior of your trailer. As Dylan circles us around to the back hatch. As you probably noticed throughout the trailer, all the lighting is going to be LED. It's going to be a lot more efficient for you as we strive to leave a smaller footprint on virtually every trailer that we build. It back in the galley area, you've got your sink, stove, and your refrigerator as part of the max package. Over here is going to be your electric sink. This will run off 12 volt power or 110 power. You've got a little switch to turn it on, hit this little knob, and then you will have water coming out of this little utensil storage area, which is a nice little, a slick little setup here underneath the sink. And then as we come under here, you're going to be able to see where you have your holding tank for your water setup. Here's your stove. You've got your two burner propane stove set up here. Uh, a lot of people, we get a lot of questions as far as what you use for propane. A lot of people just use a little five and 10 pound disposable canisters. That's going to be the best way that you're going to be able to go far as hooking these up and um, all you're going to have to do is screw them on to the receptacle to be able to hook into the power. This refrigerator is a 110 uh, 12 volt refrigerator so you will be able to run it off either your battery or if you're plugged into shoreline somewhere it'll also run it. On the interior of the trailer and the exterior back here in the galley area you're going to have 12 volt and 110 power so you'll be able to hook up any kind of different uh, you know, blenders, microwaves, anything like that that you would need to um, On the back of the trailer also, you're going to have a receiver. You're going to have a two-inch square receiver. We really tell people uh, from a weight standpoint, don't put any more than about what, Dylan, 125 pounds? Something about 125 pounds will slide in there, and that, will, that you will be able to safely pull down the road. You've got a place here for a license plate holder, and as we talked about, more LED lights. This trailer is going to come with a uh, tubular steel frame, a rubber torsion axle. You're going to have very little side-to-side -side bounce as you're going down the trailer. I don't think driving through the mountains and all the other places that I've been with our trailers, I've ever felt like I was going to lose control of this. Brakes are not required with this trailer because of the weight. Some people feel more comfortable with brakes. Make sure you tell your dealer when you do order your trailer. If you want brakes, you have to tell them because it's not going to come standard with it. All of our trailers come with a one-year end-to-end 
warranty. We have six to 700 service centers across the country that can service your trailer if you do have an issue. Uh, we have less than a 2% warranty ratio, leaders in the industry, so you shouldn't have too many problems. But if you do, make sure you contact your dealer, let them know the issue you're having, have your VIN number handy so that then they can contact us to handle any of your issues. Contact your dealer first, they'll get in touch with us and then we'll direct you in the best route to handle any of your issues. Um, I think that's about it. Dylan, did I miss anything? As usual, no. Uh, this trailer comes in three different packages. You're going to have your basic, you're going to have your quick start, and you're going to have your max packages. Check out the website, talk to your dealer to find out what some of the differences are. This is a max package. We sell more max packages than any other setup within our Silver Shadow line. Thanks again for visiting. Make sure you spend a lot of time on the online store. We've got all kinds of options and accessories that Dylan just keeps adding and adding to the site on a regular basis. Um, I think right now uh, we're building the best trailer we ever have, and I don't expect that to change. We will always continue to strive for excellence within the building of our trailers to make more happy campers going down the road. Um, thanks again for watching. Spend time on your website. Contact your local dealer. Go out and check out the trailers, and thanks again.